Hey guys, Diko here. There was a challenge on Kisuma server the other day where you were meant to build a little circuit which will count up and down in signal strength. Now that's exactly what I've made here. It was, it's the most compact design right there. I don't think it's gonna, it gets any smaller ever, but we'll see in the future, you know? But uh, this design is only four by eight by two, as you can see right here, and it works just like this. So you press button, plus one, goes up, and you press the other button, minus one, it goes back down. And you can reset it, or set it to 15 as well. But if you power it here with a signal strength of 15, it will set it all the way to 15. And if you power it here with a signal strength of 15, it will turn it off completely, as you can see right there. So you can power these with torches from the top, if you were wondering. But um, you might also be wondering how this works, because it isn't that easy to get. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing to note is this little bit in the middle right here. This is a signal strength arsenal latch. Now I know you might be thinking it's the design where two comparators go into each other like this. Two block and then return on the side and over here. But I use a different design. I use this one where instead of powering the comparator it actually subtracts from it. So it's basically that inverted that makes, makes it into an arsenal latch instead of just a latch. So what's going on is if this is 15, this will never give an output. But if this becomes one, which is totally possible from other places, then this will become 14. Or rather, if this becomes 14, this becomes one. And if this is one, this will stay at 14. And if this is 14, it will stay at one. And so on. So they will basically lock each other to the pseudo strength they were on previously. It's not a clock though or anything, it doesn't lag. It's just because this is always 15, this will just stay off. But um, now you might be wondering, how does it count? Well, this little circuit right here is just a monostable. This is a repeater lock. We'll give it two tick pulse of signal strength 15. That's very important. And the same exact thing on this side. And it goes into this comparator here. Now if this is 15, then that means that this return is 14 because it travels one block. So it's subtracting 14 from this comparator, which means that it's going to give a one signal strength if this gets power of 15, of course. And that's going to subtract one from this comparator, which makes this 14. And that will set the latch to one on this side. If you do it again, well, if this is 14, that means this is 13. So the next time it's going to give us two signal strength pulse. So that's going to set it to 13 and 2 on that side. And the exact same thing happens on this side. But right now, because it's already 0, it won't do anything. But that's basically how this works. So uh, I hope you like this design. Now obviously, there is one very cool thing you can do with this. You can run this into an enchanting room. Now I'm going to not going to show you how to do that. Because I believe Xuma is going to do that uh, somewhere in the future, in the near future. I did a little spoiler there, whatever. Um, there will be a world download in the description below, so you can check it out yourself. But um, yeah, so I hope you like this little device, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.